What's up, YouTube? Some of the intricacies of understanding uh, this dynamic of the Father and the Son issue. Um, Jesus is the everlasting Father, yet he chose to subdue himself, you could say, by becoming a son, a, a fleshly subordinate of that spirit, which he was. And talks about my God and your God, my Father and your Father. See, that throws a lot of people's understanding off. And then they revert back to the trinities of the nations, where in Christianity, that's where it came from into through Rome. Okay? It's kind of like a hybrid, but it's not the original Shema, which God is one. And if you don't uh, connect to scriptures alone, these, these uh, you know, these uh, words, Jesus said, the sayings, the prayers, they will throw you off, okay? And it's not meant to throw you off. The spirit of revelation has to get a hold of you to understand. If you just simply understand uh, God became flesh. First Timothy 3.16, God was manifest in the flesh. And these dynamics, these intricacies, I'm just trying to show you one of them. And I, it's very... And you are God, to my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and you are God. I have seen him. Yeah, they're talking about the Spirit of God. And that spirit is housed in the body Christ, the Lord, the King of kings, the Almighty. Jesus Christ is the Almighty. Does that mean the spirit of Jehovah is less mighty? No, it means it's in him. God was in Christ. I think that's 2 Corinthians 5.19 maybe. God, or 2 Corinthians 3.17. God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Matthew 1 Jesus came to save his people from their sins. So this is just a quick Bible study, okay? If you're not biblically born again, get born again of, get baptized in Jesus' name, okay? And pray that God gives you the gift of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. When you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, not many preachers understand this, you will speak with new tongues. That is being born of the Spirit. That is Christ in you. How is Christ in you if he's just this son walking around for 30 plus years on the earth? No, Christ is that spirit. The Lord Christ, Jesus Christ is that spirit. Matter of fact, I will show you real quick here. If I can find it real quick. I think it's Second Corinthians. Don't let this stuff throw you. He is our kinsman redeemer. The, the Jehovah, the mighty God, became our brother. You understand? 2 Corinthians 3, 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Okay? Christ. Let's check out. Let's see if I can find one more. Christ. I think it's 519. I forget. Yeah, here we go, right here. To wit, that God was in Christ. Okay, the Spirit was in the flesh. The revealed manifestation of God is Christ, the Father and the Son, which Isaiah calls him, Zechariah calls him the same thing. Jehovah became, what are those wounds in thy hands in Zechariah's prophecy? What are those wounds in thy hands when Christ's second return? Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. But if you go up and uh, Zechariah chapter 12, it's Jehovah talking. <laughs> okay? There's no Trinity, folks. That's why everybody in the Bible is baptized in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 5.19. To wit, that God was in Christ. There's only one God, folks. If you think there's more than one, you got to go through and read the Bible again. <laughs> Especially the Old Testament. Reconciling the world unto himself not themselves there's not days up there okay 
not imputing their trespass unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Okay? Hope that helps somebody. God bless you. If you have any questions, make a comment. God bless.